it's not possible to simply just switch out a candidate it would be wrong and I think unlawful in, in accordance to some of these states rules for a handful of people to go in a back room and switch it out because they're they don't like the candidate anymore. The GOP will probably mount legal challenges to try to forcibly keep Biden on the ballot in some states after he withdrew from the race on July 21st. But election administration and legal experts say those challenges likely won't work. Kentucky's former two-term Republican Secretary of State Trey Grayson said there aren't any grounds to challenge the Democratic Party from picking a different nominee, especially since the DNC hasn't even happened yet. It's a pretty frivolous claim. The filing deadlines haven't passed yet, and the Democrats haven't nominated anybody yet. Edward B. Foley, a law professor who leads Ohio State University's election law program, said the parties control the process as to who their nominee is. I just don't see how the Republican Party or anyone associated with the Republican Party would have any standing to bring any litigation in connection with this. And Richard Winger, a leading expert on state ballot access laws, said it's ridiculous for people to talk about replacing Biden. He hasn't been nominated yet. That's because according to an Associated Press review of state election laws, Biden's withdrawal came before presidential ballot access deadlines in every state. And though Biden has clearly been the presumptive Democratic nominee for months, candidates do not formally accept their party's nomination until the convention itself, which doesn't begin until August 19th. The facts won't stop the GOP from trying though. And honestly, who knows what the Supreme Court is capable of? Either way, this election just got a lot more interesting.